A Magna neighborhood is reeling tonight after a five-year-old boy was backed over and killed in the driveway by a truck driven by his grandfather. As new specialist Jed Bull shows us, that kind of preventable accident happens every week in Utah. And Jed, there's a long-time program that reminds us to spot the tot, as they say. That's right, Deanie. That Spot the Tot program was started at Primary Children's Medical Center more than a decade ago after 10 kids were killed in 2004 in backover accidents here in Utah. The key step to that program, making sure that you check around your car, the entire car, before you get in and start it up. Hunter was full of life and loved being outdoors. Five-year-old Hunter Weiss died in his grandparents' driveway this morning. Shortly after 8, as his grandfather prepared to leave, police say he told the boy to go inside and grab a coat. The grandfather thought the boy was inside when he backed over the child. And so when a family has a tragedy like this, it affects all of us. Janet Brooks, the child safety advocate at Primary Children's Hospital, started the Spot the Tot program in 2005. When you first leave home, Make sure children are supervised. That means for little children, you're holding their hand or holding them in your arms. Approach the vehicle. That prevents them from a dangerous dash for a final goodbye. Then check around the car. But I'm going to come and walk entirely around the perimeter of the vehicle. Checking for kids, pets, and toys. Once inside, roll down the window and listen for activity. Well, those are key. Check all mirrors and look out the back window and check your backup camera if your car has one. And proceed with caution. This window sticker is a reminder to spot the tot every time. Problem is, looking in my mirrors, it looks totally clear, as if there were no dangers behind me. We take this mat with us. There's a blind spot that extends behind directly behind a vehicle about 20 feet. That's what they demonstrate with this mat when they take it to schools and talk to children. You can see that blind spot in a backup camera, but not through your mirrors. But do not rely only on the backup camera. Use that as a resource, but use the human intervention that we're all capable of. Children do not always perceive danger the way we think they might. Oh, it takes all of us as adults to stop this epidemic. Backup cameras will be mandatory in all new vehicles by May 2018. So in a couple of years, that will be mandatory in all of our new vehicles. The Utah, uh, actually the National Department of Transportation expects that that will cut those rollover fatalities by as much as a third when all of those are in our cars. Guys? No, hopefully that will help, uh, like they say, because I just hate reporting these kinds of stories, Jed. Thanks. Yeah.